Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I'm Atul and I'm super excited to talk about SQL Union and SQL Union All Operator in this video. So let's move ahead and explore this SQL Union Operator. So this SQL Union Operator is used to combine the result set of two or more than two select a statement. So suppose there are two different table while their structures are same. When I'm saying structures, this means that the columns are same and their data type is same and what you need to do is that you need to append both of these two table vertically so you want the table one data appended first and then table two data below table one so in that case you have to use union operator before we go and write the union operator example query here let's go and understand the basic concept or the operations that is performed in the back end of this union operator so i have table 1 and table 2 both of these table have the same column name and the same data type so each of the column are identical the only difference is that table 1 has 8 rows while table 2 has only 4 rows there is another similarity between the, both of these two tables is that there is a duplicate row here which is highlighted in this color table 1 has name 4 in class 10 which has a roll number 4 similarly in table 2 we have name 4 and the class is 10 and roll number is 4 so obviously this row is a duplicate row so what happens when we use SQL union operator so what this union operator does is that it takes the entire data set which you have selected in your select statement and it combines it with the another table's data set. So you have this data set here in table 1, then again you have a data set in table 2 and if you use union operator, first of all it will take the first table data which you have written on the top, the first select statement that you have written, it will take the data from that table and it will put it into the virtual memory. Then the second table or the select second select statement you have written it will take data from that table and it will append that data below the first table's data now the only thing that you have to note in this union operator is that it will not allow any duplicate value the union operator selects only the distinct values by default so when you're using union operator you have to know that the data set or the result set which you are getting after the use of union operator is that the data set is unique at each and every column level. Now if we talk about union all operator it's a slight different from union because union all operator allow you to have duplicate values. So again we have table 1 here and table 2 it has the same columns and the same data set. And if we use union all on these two table, then what will happen is that it will take the data from the first table and put it into the virtual memory. Then it will take the data from table two and it will append it below the first table result. Now, we know that this row number four in table one and this row number four in table two is duplicate. But when you're using a union all, it will always have that duplicate value. So if you want to have duplicate value then you have to use union all and if you want to have a unique value then you have to use union operator only. So let's go to our SQL workbench and write some queries on it. So I have a table email data dot promotional mail which has some data related to the email that has been sent to the users. Similarly I have a, another data set which is email data dot promotional mail to and it has duplicate values inserted from this email data dot promotional mail only so suppose there are 10 rows in promotional mail table then this promotional mail to table will have 100 rows and all of those 100 rows are the duplicate value which is already present in this promotional mail so if i run this query here you will see that we have 1,33,926 rows and if I run this query, which is select a star from email data dot promotional mail two, it has two lakh sixty seven thousand eight hundred and forty four rows. 
Now this 267,844 rows are the same rows or you can say that it has the same data which is already present in promotional mail too. Now if you want to put a union operator and you want to have a distinct value after combining two table then you can write the first select statement the first table and then you can put this operator or the keyword union and then again you have to write a second select statement when you are using union you have to make sure that the f of tables does not have semicolon now if i run this query I will get only 1,33,926 rows because these rows are already present in email data dot promotional mail and by default union does not allow duplicate values. Now if I run this query, I am getting 1,33,926 rows, right? Now if you want to have the duplicate data then what you have to do is that you just have to add all union all operator and now if I run this query I should get all the duplicate values I have 4,1770 record so that's how you use union and union all operator before we end this video I just want to tell the three points which is the most important point when you are using union or union all operator is that the first select statement as well as the other select statement that you are using within your union or union all operator must have the same number of columns and the second point is that the columns must have the similar data type the last and the third point is that the column in each select statement must also be in the same order else your union or union all operator will not work and SQL workbench will show you error if you want to learn more about SQL then you can click on the right side of this video or if you want to learn about Excel you can click on the left side of this video. Happy learning and see you in the next video.